guys, what's going on? Sharp thinking here. So, real quick, wanted to do a video on a subcompact pistol I set up a while back, and um, I've never really talked about uh, all the details behind it, why I set it up. So, here it is. Um, basically, the story behind it is as my athletic endeavors started to pick up and become a daily uh, ritual, I guess you could say, uh, I realized like a gun like this is not going to be possible all the time. Um, lots of running, lots of hiking, lots of biking, um, you know, just stuff like that. I wear athletic shorts almost all the time, uh, unless I'm at work and you know, you can't carry this in athletic shorts easily. Um, now, some people, depending on what shorts you have, might not be able to carry anything easily. Um, I wear Tack Hunt Fish. They have a great uh, elastic band in them, and I found that uh, with the tie and that elastic, it retains the pistol really, really well. Um, obviously not as well as a you know, rigid belt would, but definitely good enough. Uh, so here is one of the concepts uh, that I wanted to try out. Uh, so it's a fanny pack for hiking, running, stuff like that, where uh, even tying my athletic shorts is not going to be a good idea for carrying a pistol. Uh, so in this pouch, it's secure. Uh, it is covered by Kydex, so it's not gonna have any negligent discharges or anything like that. So I'll show you what I did here. There it is. Glock 43X MOS. Uh, it has a Trigicon RMR and this TLR7 sub. So in here, I've temporarily fixed a Kydex holster. Um, I can pop it out if I want to carry the gun. So throw that on the ground and here we go. So without tying them at all, you can see you want to make sure you have the claw in there we're good, right? And then, there it is. So, um, let's talk about it. Uh, this is not going to be as capable as a full-size pistol ever. Um, unless you're just that much better of a shot than someone else who has a full-size pistol, um, this is not gonna be able to do what a full-size gun does. Uh, so, with that being said, why did I do this? Um, so if I didn't mention it already, I wanted all of the same accessories that I had on this gun on this smaller frame. Um, and it actually wasn't super easy to do all of this. So basically I ran into um, a pretty quick uh, bump in the road, we'll call it. So uh, this started life as just a Glock 43X MOS. Uh, what I found after buying the gun and the optic is this optic is actually longer than the optic cut on the gun. So no plate is going to allow this optic to be mounted within that pre-milled pocket. So I realized pretty much I only had two options. I could run the forward control plate, which is really, really tall and really ugly in my opinion, or I could get it recut. Um, now I didn't know of many people offering MOS cuts. CNH Precision was the only one I could find that I trusted to do it. Um, the optic fit is really, really tight. I had to press it in, and I actually thought they may have cut my gun for the wrong optic when it was returned because of how tight the fit is. Um, you are gonna want a ceiling plate uh, on this optic. No, it's not the most high-tech, newest, Gucci, optic out there. A lot of people don't like the RMR. I like how simple it is. It's got two buttons and that's it. Battery change. Yeah, it's super inconvenient, but you know, uh, in this instance, I was going with a lower profile optic. So I wanted something that canted in a fanny pack was not going to add height to the gun. Um, so a closed emitter in theory could have added height. Now, with this gun, I bought the RMR because, you know, different times back then, 
that Acro P2 was not out and Acro P1 was not a viable option. Uh, according to a lot of people, it had really bad battery drain and stuff like that. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about this. Um, this is sufficient for the gun it's on. Um, the light, I do like my lights proud of the muzzle. It keeps uh, the gun from going out of battery. If something were to be pressed against the slide, which having to use this at all is very unlikely, having that occurrence happen while you're using it is even less likely. Um, but I didn't see the Surefire option option as being a viable option. Uh, it was way underpowered, way more expensive. It had a weird battery system that Surefire developed. It just wasn't it. And it was very short and not proud uh, of the muzzle. So it's just preference. Uh, that's all this, anything on my channel boils down to preference. Um, and I feel like that goes for any channel. So yeah. Uh, how does this gun shoot? Shoots like a small Glock. Shoots like any other 43X, uh, despite any modifications done to it that's not going to change how the gun shoots. Uh, get out, train, be proficient with these small guns. Um, like I said, you know, you can pretty much anyone can pick up a staccato and run it more or less fairly well. Um, there's like a joke people say uh, where you can either learn to shoot or just buy a staccato. And it's kind of true. Uh, it's sad that it's true. Um, I know, you know, a lot of people are guilty of using gear as a crutch. And, you know, <laughs> I'm included there. Um, it is easier for me to run a staccato than something like this. Um, but if you are going to carry this, it's all that much more important that you are proficient with this. Because if you're going out carrying a gun, this small and you have no fucking clue what you're doing, you've never shot it, your optics not zeroed, you're going to be a massive liability and you're probably going to cause more harm than good. So get out, train. I just wanted to share um, this, you know, idea uh, or concept of a firearm uh, that I needed or wanted in my EDC. I do have the Tack Hunt Fish plate on there. Kind of gay. Um, you know, I'm not really a big backplate guy, but <laughs> I don't know why that sounded really, really gay, but um, no homo. Uh, but yeah, that's it. It's simple Glock, stock, factory, other than this uh, recut slide. Um, I do like it a lot. It shoots fairly well. Again, it's not a 17. It's not uh, a staccato. It's not any of these guns that are much larger and much more capable. Um, it's snappy, it's a subcompact. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.